Hey guys, welcome back. I know that it's been a little while since I last posted, but I finally had some, some more time here back at home, able to get a little bit more work done on the speedster here. So in this video, you can see I've got this nice new firewall in here. I'm gonna show you um, how I made this aluminum firewall completely from scratch, uh, from start to finish. So enjoy the video. So you can see here, I started out by first making a cardboard template of the firewall, and then I traced it out on this eighth inch thick aluminum. This is the same aluminum that I used to make the floor panels of the Speedster a, a few videos ago. And then I cut most of it out at first here with the circular saw, as you can see there. Um, and I just had like a metal blade in that, and it worked out pretty well to cut the aluminum there. Uh, it also helped to put some cutting oil on the blade of the saw, and then also on the underside of the metal. Um, but every now and then the, the saw does kind of get um, gummed up with the, the aluminum. You had, kind of have to pick it out between the teeth of the saw um, before you cut again. But that seemed to work out pretty well and you can see I got the rough profile of that cut out just with that saw right there. And then once I finished up with the circular saw, you can see I took it over to the big band saw that I have, and that is much easier to follow a profile with. So you can see I cut the long sweeping curve of the top edge of the firewall there, as well as switching over to the inside to take out the, the material that was too close in there to get with the saw. You can see how I made those first cuts initially so that the pieces sort of break off easily, and that makes it easier to follow that tighter radius curve. So once I finished drilling all of those holes into the aluminum firewall, you can see I took it back over here to the vehicle and clamped it down to the frame. And then all I'm doing now is just transferring those holes to the steel frame of the car so that I'll be able to bolt the firewall down later. And I have the tap there inside the cordless drill and that's really helpful because I can just set the clutch of that drill to a certain setting that I know it won't go above a certain torque. So and that means I won't be in danger of accidentally snapping the tap off inside the steel there. All right, so you can see now I've got the main uh, part of the firewall here bolted in with a couple bolts around there. All the holes line up nicely though. Um, the next step is to make um, a little extension piece here that can go around and cover up um, the pedals and the steering box right there. So you can see I have this cardboard model right here of pretty much exactly how I want it to look. So I'm gonna use this as a template then to transfer to some aluminum and hope that I can bend this piece up pretty nicely and then attach it to the rest of the firewall here. This piece I made out of thinner aluminum. This is 1 16th inch thick. It's the same material that I made the main body of the car out of. Um, I didn't need to make this out of the thicker material because it's kind of small and it's got some bends in it that make it inherently stronger to begin with. And the thin aluminum cuts really nicely on the bandsaw here. So I just used that to cut out the entire profile of it. And yes, I know that you're not supposed to use gloves like this on any bandsaw. Never do that. The only reason I'm doing it is because it was cold outside and the metal was very cold to hold with just my bare hands. And what I'm doing now is annealing this piece, and this is gonna make it a lot easier to bend. I'm using my oxyacetylene torch. The first thing I did was just lay that black soot across it. That's just from the acetylene flame. 
and then I turn on the oxygen to get a nice hot flame there and you can see I'm going along where all the bend lines will be and burning that soot off. Um, the purpose of the soot is just a visual indicator to tell me when I've gotten the aluminum hot enough and that means that it's going to be a lot softer now and much easier to work with. I could have just gone ahead and annealed the entire part uh, but I figured it was only really necessary along those bend lines and the entire piece is probably going to end up being soft anyways because it's fairly small and it's going to soak up that heat really fast. And you can see all I'm using here to bend it is just a couple slabs of aluminum that I'm clamping in between as well as a rubber mallet and then a wooden mallet as well. And because I softened this up and annealed it, it's very easy to bend with just those simple hand tools. If I had not gone ahead and, and annealed it, it still would be possible to bend, but it'd be much more difficult to work with. So once I've got that piece bent up and shaped the way that I want it, all that's really left to do is to drill some holes in the outside flanges so that I can bolt it to the rest of the firewall. All right, so there you can see now the finished firewall and I think it turned out uh, pretty darn nicely. I really like how nicely this, this little cutout here turned out. Um, the bends are pretty nice and smooth there. Even the welds here I kind of ground down as you can see. Um, and I have it bolted uh, directly to this firewall obviously. Um, and then I also bolted it right down here to the frame. That just stabilizes it and I mean this whole thing is very sturdy now, very nice and rigid. Um, in terms of all these bolts I have along here, I definitely don't need that many bolts to hold it on, um, but I was just sort of matching the pattern that I had for um, the dashboard right here, where I have all those nice little screws there spaced about two inches apart. So it should match that pretty nicely. And um, I really like how it turned out. You can see I have a little bit of clearance here around the bell housing, um, I might try to do something there eventually to actually sort of like seal that up. Um, some sort of like, I don't know, leather or rubber or some, some sort of flap that could cover that. Um, but I can figure that out um, at another time. Um, but I think, I think it turns out really nice. It, it really nicely separates, you know, the whole engine bay from the cockpit of the car. And uh, I'm really happy with that. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments and I'll see you next time.